Hello students, I welcome you in a new video. In today's video, we will discuss the concept which is called mutual rotation in sugar chemistry. Let's see what is the mutual rotation. Because we all of us know that sugar exists in a cyclic form. All of us know that sugar exists in a acyclic open chain structure also. So what is mutual rotation? Mutual rotation is a process when we take one type of sugar. Suppose I take alpha sugar alpha d glucopyano i take alpha d glucose and when i take alpha d glucose and i dissolve this alpha d glucose in water i observe a very very different type of phenomena i observe a change in rotation a specific rotation of a sugar molecule alpha d glucose um, uh, solution when i take alpha d glucose solution initially uh, the rotation value is 112 112 is the rotation plus dextro it is a dextro 112 rotation is the value of uh, alpha d glucose so with the passage of time this rotation value changes continuously and it changes continuously until it reaches a very constant value and that constant value is 52.7 plus I mean dextro 52.7 value is reached uh, so this phenomena when we take alpha form and alpha form changes slowly into changes show change in, in its specific rotation until it reach a very constant value and that constant value is 52.7 plus sign dextro form is, uh, is is observed similarly if i take beta form of glucose i take beta d glucose and i dissolve this beta d glucose in water again beta d glucose initially show us the rotation value of approximately 18.7 degree uh, plus sign again uh, plus 18.7 degree and this 18.7 degree again changes slowly uh, and and this change is, is toward increased value until it show again a very constant value of 52.7 degree so this phenomena of change in rotation of a sugar solution if you take alpha d glucose it changes from 112 to 52.7 you take beta d glucose it changes from 18.7 to 52.7 uh, until a constant value of 52.7 is not reached is called the muta rotation the muta the meaning of muta is change and it means there is a change of specific rotation so how let's see how this phenomena occurs let's see how this phenomena occurs this is the glucose in a alpha d i am writing glucose in a alpha d form alpha d glucopyranose and this is beta d glucopyranose you can see here alpha form uh, show us the ring opening ring opens and change into a uh, in an open chain form and this open chain form again show the attack of this OH on this to change into a beta form so we observe from alpha we change to beta form you take beta we change to alpha form so this type of changes is called beta rotation so beta rotation is when you take alpha solution dissolve this in water initial rotation is 112 degree you keep the solution undisturbed until uh, when it keep the solution undisturbed it attain a constant value of 52.7 degree now you can also take beta d sol glucose solution take beta d glucose solution in water when you dissolve this initially reading is 18.7 specific rotation and after some time the specific rotation start increasing start increasing and show us a constant value of 52.7 degree so this is the decrease of rotation from alpha and increase the rotation in beta is called meter rotation remember one important point meter rotation con uh, contain a 52.7 degree and meter rotation contain a mixture of alpha and beta form alpha form remember exists in 36 percent and beta form exists in 64 percent so we can say that in case of meter rotation equilibrium exists and in, in this equilibrium the value of specific rotation is 52.7 value of alpha dominance is 36 percent and value of beta form dominance is 64 percent because i have explained <coughs> in my previous lecture also why beta form is more stable i have explained that this is uh, uh, about meter rotation second point is that meter rotation are catalyzed by acid and base you should note this point that meter rotation is catalyzed by some solvent which is amphiprotic amphiprotic solvents are those solvent amphiprotic solvents are those solvent which can donate proton and amphiprotic solvent are those solvent which can accept proton 
so water is a good example of an amphiprotic solvent which can donate and accept proton so let's see what amphiprotic solvent do amphiprotic solvent what they do they can water they can donate h to this oxygen and they can abstract from this you can see here they can accept uh, donate proton to get converted into OH negative and it will become OH and they can accept uh, and uh, they can accept proton to convert into H3O positive and it will convert into O negative once O negative is formed the ring will be opened and then after ring opening what you will observe you will observe the formation of CO and OH so we are observing CHO and OH so this is how a amphiprotic solvent act amphiprotic solvent simultaneously you should note this point simultaneously they act as a proton donor it will donate the proton to O to convert into OH and itself converted into OH negative and here this water can act as a proton acceptor so in that case it will accept proton from this OH to convert into OH3 hydronium ion and this change into O negative this O negative can ring open up and after ring opening we will observe CHO formation and OH negative this OH negative can take up the proton from the water from the solution to convert into OH so this is how a cyclic form change into a acyclic form by the simultaneous proton donation and proton acceptance by a amphiprotic solvent we can also say that this type of process this meter addition is also catalyzed by meter addition is also catalyzed by presence of acid plus base so sometime a mixture of crisol or mixture of a, a mixture of crisol cs3 oh plus pyridine is taken this question is very important sometimes ask in an exam why we take a mixture of a pyridine and crisol to catalyze the meter addition process so we can explain this that uh, this pyridine will act as a base to accept the proton so here pyridine if i indicate this by b so pyridine here this is a uh, this is a crisol crisol will donate i indicate crisol by a i indicate pyridine by b so crisol will be here it will donate it h positive h to this oxygen and here pyridine will be i indicate pyridine by b and pyridine will accept the h positive uh, from this to convert into pyridinium ion so why uh, i am explaining this so uh, this is how we explain this concept that crisol act as an acid and it act as, act as an acid here and donate the proton to this oxygen okay now pyridine act as a base and uh, is it is uh, i indicating pyridine by b and this pyridine accept the proton from this oxygen to convert into pyridinium ion so this is how mixture of pyridine and crisols are usually taken to catalyze the process of meter rotation catalyze the process of meter rotation this is the important factor second important factor is that uh, not only a mixture of acid and base is, re is required sometime uh, it is also in the later uh, research it was also found that a mixture of a simple acid or a simple base can also catalyze the metagradation process so you should note this that mixture of a acid and base can catalyze the metagradation mixture of a acid only mixture of a base only can catalyze the metagradation process also so this is about metagradation one important factor one important point in metagradation is that one important point in meter addition is that 
neutral addition is always observed on hemiacetal hemiacetal always show neutral addition if i convert this hemiacetal into acetal no neutral addition will be observed because in that case no base will be able to abstract proton from here and open the ring it will not be observed because we have replaced the oh by or so no base will be able to replace uh, will be able to abstract proton from here and open this ring structure so no ring opening ring opening will be observed so no open chain structure will be observed and no open chain structure so no revert back and no beta d form will be observed so remember this that all hemiacetals whenever we have oh form which is called the hemiacetal form all hemiacetal shows the metal addition no acetal shows the metal addition so metal uh, addition is a process which is observed only in a hemiacetal compound because they contain an oh and oh can be removed by any presence of base so this is the uh, all about metal addition so i'm sure this concept must be clear to all of you metal addition is the process of change of rotation with passage of time until a constant value is observed and this constant value in case of glucose was 52.7 and at equilibrium the percentage of alpha d glucose was 36% and beta d glucose was 64% and this metal addition is catalyzed by acid and base and metal addition is a phenomena which is only observed in case of hemiacetal so with this concept of metal addition i'm sure this Uh, the point of metal addition must be clear to all of you uh, with this i say thanks to all of you thank you